of A Wildcats take care of business against the NAU Lumberjacks. Um, we just, our guys just wore them down. I think it was just, it was just too much. Um, there was a lot of guys, a lot of U of A uh, Wildcats that were just, uh, they would, they were firing power. There was firing power all over the place. I mean, if uh, Mark Lyons was having a hard time, then, you know, Solomon Hill picked up. And if Solomon Hill was having a hard time, then Nick Johnson picked up. And if Nick Johnson was having a hard time, then Brandon picked up. And, and, and all sorts of combinations in between. You know, uh, it was kind of nice to see uh, Grant Jarrett um, play. Uh, he, I... I think he was, mm, he, he's not been representing as much uh, in these past few games as I would like, but I think that he represented a little bit more uh, in this game. He didn't, uh, he didn't uh, end up with a whole lot of points, uh, actually seven points, so that's not too bad, I guess, uh, more than, uh, more than, uh, Brandon Ashley, which is kind of curious, but Brandon Ashley had 11 total rebounds. Uh, Ten of them were defensive, and uh, one of them was offensive. But I, you know, the the thing that I really, the thing that I, as far as rebounds that I really really look for is, is the amount of offensive rebounds. How many offensive rebounds can you did you guys get or? Who were your big offensive rebound uh, or offensive rebounders? And and uh, you know Caleb Tarzuski only got two offensive rebounds, and uh, Angelo Chole only got two offensive rebounds. And there was nobody else that got any more offensive rebounds than two, um, which is uh, you know kind of uh, not very appealing, but. Uh, you know, it's a, it's a start, uh, and they were able, speaking of starts, they were able to defend the three-pointer um, decently. Um, I think they defended it, uh, what was it, uh, like 33, no, it was, uh, they, uh, they ended up, NAU ended up with about 30% from three-point land, which is not too bad, you know, I mean, they were, you know, there's been lots of games where U of A can't defend the three-pointer and at all, and uh, they end up shooting 45% or 40% or something like that, some ridiculous number like that, but uh, anyway, so we were better on the three-point defense, and I, and I, like I was saying, I think that our guys, um, there was just so much weapon power uh, on there that I think it just overwhelmed NAU because at halftime um, we were leading by oh, maybe 20 points or something like that. But the, the, the final, you know, it was 93 to, um, 93 to 50. So you know, so it was a 43 point difference, but I mean, it could have been, a, it, I think it was a 50 point difference at one point, uh, un until, you know, we started to, uh, throw in our, our reserves in the last, and it was nice to see Daniel Whipking, uh, I think he's a senior, uh, he knocked down a three pointer, and, um, uh, there was, uh, not a whole lot of Arizona, players uh, scored in the few final minutes, but I'm sure that they had some fun, and that's important. Uh, I, I really am concerned about uh, whenever U of A Wildcats play Florida, um, and I know I'm kind of pissing and moaning about it, but I, you know, I just, I really want our guys to be prepared, you know, I don't want them to get blown out by Florida, and you know, the thing about it is, the Pac-12 is, I mean, what what key wins or what what big wins have we, have the Pac, has the Pac-12 had this season? Uh, there's only been one, as far as I know, and that's um, 
uh, Colorado against uh, was it Bradley I think so um, anyway and you know UCLA is falling apart so uh, but I, I, I really hope that our guys stay healthy you know don't get into we don't have uh, injured players I'm, I'm really nervous about Caleb Tarzuski getting getting into um, injury you know I don't want that to happen and you know it's a long season and um, you know maybe it is good to play not so difficult teams right in the beginning so that because it is such a long season and that way your guys uh, don't have the um, aren't exposed to getting hurt as easily as they would if they were playing a top 25 uh, team but anyway, uh, 93 to 50, so it was a good game.